Today, a new update is out, along with three other updates that I didn't cover since they weren't too interesting. This one, however, is. But before that, I am back once again with Skin Bear, a well-respected skins marketplace with many of your favorite CSGO skins. The two main benefits of Skin Bear is that selling your skins will give you real money which is not locked to your Steam account, and buying skins is safe and secure. Skin Bear also has the latest skins from Broken Fang, so make sure you click the link in the video description to browse their inventory. With this update, the new 2021 service medals were announced, but beware, they are not yet ready to be claimed. If you're new to service medals, here's a small guide. By playing the game on any of Valve's official servers, such as competitive, casual, even retakes, you will earn XP at the end of every map. This XP gets added to your so-called profile rank, which goes from 1 to 40. After reaching rank 40, you can claim your first service metal which will then reset your rank back to 1 again. For each time you do this, you get a new service medal, but in a different color. Each year has its own collection of service medals, and here's the ones for 2021. The first one is gray, then green, then blue, then purple, then pink, and then finally red. Getting the red medal means that you have leveled up to rank 40 six times. I can assure you, doing that is going to be really time consuming. Also, as I previously mentioned, these service medals are for 2021. This means that if you claim a service medal in 2020, then you will get a 2020 version instead. What I recommend is that you rank up to 40 before the end of the year, then wait until the year is over to claim your first 2021 service medal. It will give you a head start if you ever want to go for the red one. Moving on, we get to a new feature when buying weapons. You can now hold down a key, which will instantly drop what you you have bought. When I saw this in the patch notes, I thought that you would be able to buy something for your teammates and they would instantly receive it, almost like Valorant. It is not like that. You can choose which key you want it to be inside the options, and there seems to be just three options for now. But think of this new feature as just buying something to yourself, then instantly dropping it. Yes, this means that you can spam buy weapons, but you will sadly be limited to five for each weapon. Aww. Also, if you're wondering, this feature does not allow you to buy Kevlar or nades to any of your teammates, so as I explained, it is just a quick buy and drop shortcut. There are loads of scripts doing this already, but now it's officially part of the game, and I can actually see it being pretty useful when you get used to it. Also, another big change for the Zeus lovers is that it's now possible to buy up to five of them instead of just one. Perfect timing for the new donate feature. Next up, the settings page is starting to get a bit messy with all the new features that have been added for this year, so Valve have responded with a search function. When you click on search, you first see the newest settings added, then you can type any setting and it will show up as a shortcut to it. Finally, an easy way to help your noob teammates navigate through the menu. Apart from this, the maps have been a big focus for the past three updates, along with many fixes, which is the usual after a big update like an operation comes out. If you want to read it yourselves, the link is in the video description, but I won't cover them in this video. However, I do want to end on two more things that I really enjoy. For retakes, the starting zones for T's have been improved, and you guys already know about the pinging feature for competitive mode, right? Well, the icon now fades away as you start getting closer to it with your crosshair. Before it would just stay there, which could disrupt your view, and that's no longer an issue. However, However, Valve seems to have stopped the custom chat wheel, which I covered in my previous video, and it definitely makes it clear that it was not intentional. I'll have to replace these two custom commands with something less useful, unfortunately. Nevertheless, hope you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it to show your support, subscribe if you like my content, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome, and go bananas!